Greetings, programs. This is Wretch, and welcome back to Minecraft. We're here on the coast of the continent, and in the last episode, we found some more temples, one more village, and decided that in order to find our treasured mesa biome, we're actually going to make some boats and set sail. So I went along the coast trying to find some savanna to, because I was running low on bread, essentially. So I went looking for animals to slaughter in order to cook, and you'll never guess what I found. Can you guess? Can you guess? I bet you can't guess what I found. I'll show you. Indeed. One more village. And this village actually had a blacksmith. It had some good stuff in it. And it's cool because it's like a little port town. I went ahead and saved the coordinates for it so I can come back here if I absolutely need to. But this is where we are going to set sail on our journey. I actually went ahead and uh, improved the village off camera so we didn't have to have another one of those escapades. And it is time to set sail. I made two boats here. And ready, anchors away. Fortunately, there are no sharks or anything nasty other than squid. Or if we sail over a water temple, that'll be sad. And I have a backup boat just in case. I know the boats don't, I don't think the boats explode anymore. Just randomly, but just, I do have a spare. That's old, old, old Minecraft habits. Always carry a spare with you. So we've got huh, just an island out in the middle of nowhere. That's interesting. We'll go ahead and leave that lie. Actually, one of my first real big Minecraft building projects was on an island just like that. It was on a multiplayer server. I was playing with friends. And I just decided to found one of these little islands a little off the coast and decided to make something awesome there. Made a little glass pagoda style uh, Japanese castle. Oh, that's interesting. It looks like the trees are actually submerged. Lots of clay deposits. And some wolves. Hello, wolfies. It's like Wolf Island, man. If, if dogs could follow you in the boat, I would get a dog right now. But we'll have to wait until... Hello there, Water Temple. Ooh, let's go ahead and avoid that just because I don't want to get mining sickness. And that is completely out of my pay grade. There is evil there that does not sleep. However, it's good to know in case we ever get equipped enough that we actually want to tackle that sucker. And we still have not found a continent. We're finding t lots, lots of tiny little islands here. I wish I had the sub C. This would be like Star Tropics all over again. I'd have to make a yo yo to hit people with. Oh. Are we seeing land masses forming? Or just another island? Come on, continent. A short voyage is still a voyage, nonetheless. This is a. Just a strip? I don't know what those are actually called. Like, um. No, I think we have actually found a continent. Outstanding. Looks pretty barren, though. But I'll go ahead and take it because it was pretty much a straight line from the port town. I'm already seeing some big hills. So let's go ahead and put on the brakes here. And we have arrived. Give me that boat back. And just because we can, let's... Hmm. No, I was going to go ahead and like plant a flag. But yeah, let's go ahead and plant a flag. Why not? Why not? We can do anything we want in this game. Let's go ahead and build a... F oh, that's not how you build a fence anymore. Forgot they have changed a few things. There we go. And I know I could, well, I could just build a standard though, couldn't I? Hmm. I don't have enough, I don't have enough wool for it though. Let's go ahead and just use the fence. The fence will be our, we will start from here 
and just say that this is where we made landfall. And we'll go ahead and just have that one piece of wood. Yeah, there we are. That'll do, pig. And actually, let's make it kind of like a little mini light area. Works for me. Well, we have plenty of food. I'm going to go ahead and throw that fence because I don't need it. So let's go explore. Oh, speaking of wool, might as well go ahead and break out my shears here. Get our New Zealand on. Start shearing these sheep. Come here, little babas. I don't need your mutton, fortunately. There we are. So much wools. Thank you. Now, I think we're just going to keep on and heading in one direction until we actually find what we're, what we seek. And if I find this, if I, if this continent is filled with like <laughs> islands and temple, or excuse me, uh, villages and temples and all kinds of other stuff, except for a mesa biome, I quit. <laughs> well, no, I don't quit, but you get the idea. There will be much yelling and gnashing of teeth. And we are one in one of those huge birch forests, aren't we? Ow. Hmm. Well, we got to start somewhere, don't we? So, let's just get our Tarzan on, jump from tree to tree. Or at least attempt to. And try and get some high ground to see where exactly... Get our bearings, essentially. Oh, I see grassland. That's a good sign. And more horses. Which I am not going to utilize. I don't think I'm going to get a horse until after we find a, a good base. Just so we don't have any of the uh, the shenanigans we had in the last episode. Or the episode before it. Plenty of sheep. We have plenty of wool now. We've got 15. And there's more of the coast. I'd hate if this was actually just an island. Oh, there's one of those really thick birch forests. Or, uh... Oak forests. Dark oak. Those are really cool. I was thinking about if I could make a tree big enough, just make a huge tree house. That's one of my kind of building projects I've been thinking about. Hello, horsies. You all seem to be getting along quite nicely. Pumpkins. Pumpkins are good. Let's get at least one pumpkin so we can grow some if we need them. Maybe make some... A golem security force. So come here, guys. Just going to take one of you. There we go. It's going to take up an inventory spot, but I'm not that worried about it. It's about going to be dark here before too much longer. Here's a swamp. Go ahead and... Hello, squid. Eh. I do need your ink for my battle standard, but I, I'm going to wait until we actually plant down some roots. I went ahead and got the wool just because, ooh, well, these aren't the red-eyed bunnies. These are the brown-eyed bunnies. If you'd been the red-eyed bunnies, that would have been kind of awkward and a bit scary. And have some Monty Python's Holy Grail. Run away! We'll not risk another frontal assault. That rabbit's dynamite. Oh, if, those, if some of the rabbits like actually became rabid, that would be horrible. I'd be more uh, worried about them than I would about little zombies or anything of that nature. Also keeping my eyes open for a witch hut. Just to, you know, say hello, pay my respects as I pass by. Nope. Okie doke. Other than that witch we saw in the caverns, we have been pretty much witch-free this game, which I am very grateful for. Well, there's a bluff over there. I think we'll head that direction. We're not. We're no longer going that that one direction. I went diagonal, and that all got messed up. Get some sleep. See a sheep right there on top of a tree. Another normal day in Minecraft. 
I do need to go on a caving expedition here before too much longer because I need lapis. Not a whole lot, just enough to get some dye. Because I think that I think lapis is the only way that you can get just normal blue dye. If anyone knows any other way, please let me know, because that'll keep me from Oh, extreme hills, I believe. Mountains, mountains. Oh, there's some clay. I really should start collecting some of the clay as I pass by, just to make things a lot easier. But the whole, whole reason I'm trying to find the Mesa biome is then I won't need to do that, because the entire biome's made out of clay, essentially. Clay and redstone. Or not redstone, but that um, red sandstone. Imagine a biome made completely out of redstone. Good grief. And then putting just dynamite all over the place. And, ooh, ocean. That's not good. That's not what I'm looking for at all. Guess we'll travel along the coast here. This may be just one big island. Uninhabited by nothing more than pigs and sheep and cows and non-evil bunnies. Hmm. So let's head up here. Well, fortunately it keeps on going this way, so at least that's a small favor. Otherwise I'm going to have to make the boat. And I do like this, though. Looks like a nice big kind of lake, or bay, rather, with this island smack dab in the middle. Ow. Let's eat some pork chops here while we slowly drown. Here we go. Now, when I swim, I always swim like this. I know I can just go ahead and hold on and do this, but I figured this was is a little bit more realistic way to swim, and for some reason, I think I, I feel like, like I go faster just bobbing up and down like so. So, don't judge me. <laughs> So I've also been thinking about other projects to do besides the Adobe house that I've kind of had set in my head for a while. Um, I don't know. They're all kind of just running through my head. I, part of me wants to carve out a mountain, just like an entire mountain and make it into a base, kind of like a little mini black mesa. I, I don't know. It's just that it, it, I, I keep on, as I look around certain places, I'm kind of just like, hmm... What could I build? Hello there, horsey. Have not seen any uh, donkeys. I actually would consider getting a donkey and taming one for no other reason than I'd have that little pack. Or the ability to pack some of my more valuable items in the saddlebags just in case I, I die and head right back to spawn. Oh, those are some pretty horses. Is that more of the same over here? Yeah, a gorgeous island. I have to say. Horses of all shapes and sizes and color schemes. But we are pretty much, and we're in, in nice green mountains. The complete opposite of what I needed to do. I actually drove from... Oh, hello there, lava. Um, I actually drove... I'll, across a lot of West Texas this last weekend. And all I saw was pretty much what I was looking for, which was Mesa biome. The person I was driving with was looking around like, Hey, Rich, look, Mesa! To which I retorted quite strongly. But I will find it eventually, and it'll be a great day. I'm actually going to have the Hallelujah Chorus ready on my phone to play when we see... Oh! Hello there, doggy. Let's... Got some nice, tasty, tasty uh, femur for you. There you go. Come on now. I need a companion. There you go. Oh, nice. Cool. Thank you, my friend. You go ahead and follow me. We are going to be pals. Hopefully, I do not have to leave this island and you. But, worst comes to worst, we are going to have an adventure together. Because I have not really seen a jungle biome, and I could not get a cat. 
I need to start doing fishing. I haven't done fishing in Minecraft yet. I, I kind of stopped. I was not playing when it came out and everyone started doing it. Because I spent all that time fishing in... Oh, is that a desert? No, it's more ocean. Hmm. Spending all that time fishing in World of Warcraft and then he was like, Hey, there's fishing in Minecraft. And you're like, uh, no, I've spent all that time fishing elsewhere. It's like the last thing you want to do. The dog seems to be keeping up with me, which is good at least. I hear him barking in the background. And here's some of the mountain forest. With some of that... Now, this is where you went to get dark wood before they started breaking in that dark oak. So we will just head up here while the piano plays us off. <laughs> I always thought the Minecraft music was slightly sinister, and that was one of the things I liked so much about it, especially the Nether. The Nether has some of the best video game music I have ever heard in my life. And we will go to the Nether, guys, I promise you that. We're gonna need to. We're gonna need quartz and, uh, quartz and, um, glowstone, like there's no tomorrow. Yeah, let's get some dirt here. There we go. Hopefully our guy will still follow us. Hmm. It looks like more trees as far as the eye can see. That is no bueno. That's like not what I want at all. Let's get our pork chops up. Don't want Wretch to start gnawing on a femur instead of a pork chop. That would probably be most unpleasant. There we go. Nothing like lukewarm pork chops. Of course, that doesn't bug me too much. I actually prefer to eat meat cold. And I know that's that's kind of odd to some people, but one of my favorite comfort foods when I was growing up was um, when our family would make fried chicken, like in, the, in those strips. I would put a ton of it in the icebox and just wait for it to get cold, and then I would eat it like glazed in honey and that was like one of my favorite foods ever and to this day like I'll eat I'll eat cold hamburgers I'll eat cold cold chicken the only thing that kind of that goes against that rule is very hard for cold pork to actually taste good at least to me but most of the other meat groups I can actually eat while frigid one of those weird things I guess if anyone else agrees with me and likes eating like cold chicken and stuff, please let me know. I would like to know that I am not necessarily in the minority. And I think we have actually reached the end of this island. So we may have to go sailing once again. And so help me, because I'm not sure which direction we went to. If I have to, uh, oh, I hear, I hear our rattles. Oh, bunnies. So many bunnies. Are you gonna... Oh, where's our dog? I guess he saw that there was nowhere to go and decided to take his leave, perhaps? Hmm. Well, well. Yeah, I guess that is exactly what happened. He was just like... I've had enough of traveling with this guy. He's talking about eating cold meat. That's insulting to a dog like me. Well, fine. I didn't want you either. This seems like a... Oh, there you are. Hi, we were just talking about you. And my friend, this looks like the end of the road. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. We are going to get you set up. There's a nice thing of rabbits right over here. And tons of trees for you to mark your territory. We are going to go ahead. We're going to make you... Well, actually, let's make it from some of the native... The native trees and such. Because that'll be a lot... A lot better, I think. Hey. You come here. Because it's about to get dark. I forgot how tall these trees were. There you go, little trooper. 
And what should I drop right now? Let's drop, let's drop one of the boats. So we'll get all of these. And while it's starting to get dark, this actually looks like a nice place for it. Right around here. Let's set the bed down. Wait for it to get a proper sunset. Oh, we got some, you got some cows there too that you can herd. Gonna be a cow dog. Just like Hank and Drover. Does anyone else remember those books? Like Hank the Cow Dog? I used to read those when I was in elementary school and listen to the audio cassettes. Those were awesome kids' stories. So, right. Yeah. Right around here is good. Let's go ahead and take the spruce. And we are going to build you a nice doghouse. I'm actually going to make this a little bit big because I don't like when people make dog houses that are actually very small. Sometimes they do just like to chill in there and not do anything else. So we're going to make this. Yeah, there we go. Two, like so. Yeah, this is going to be an awesome place for you, boy. Let's go ahead and replant this spruce tree. Oh, we already had a. A slot open. My bad. Move the pork over. Oh, I had another one. Now let's get the workbench up. Where are you? There you are. Because you were a nice little companion for us. You, kept, you We were not lonely with you following behind. So we will make some steps for a proper roof. I'm not sure how many we're actually going to need. Because we're going to make this... Hmm. Actually, yeah. Let's do it like that. A proper, a proper Snoopy-like house. Yep. I said a proper Snoopy-like house. Didn't you hear me? There we go. And we'll need some more. More steps. More steps. Oh, okay. More spruce. We need more spruce. You will do. Because these trees will come back. You'll have plenty of territory. And then maybe he will find another dog. And they will have puppies. And we'll have a nice little pack of dogs here if we ever have to come back. That'd be nice. There we go. Now then. I hate leaving things like this unfinished. I actually feel really bad, to tell you the truth, about trying to tame that horse and then just leaving him there. If it wouldn't be the fact that it'd be a bit boring, I actually considered heading back with the express purpose of dropping that horse off exactly where we found him. However, we were fortunate enough because he was still close to home, pretty much. So I don't feel as bad... As I, I don't feel as bad as I could have felt, essentially. So we'll do that. Yeah, 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 that works. That'll work out quite nicely. We'll need a little bit more. You don't know how many trees you have to knock down for some of these projects. And you don't think that, you know, building a, building a doghouse would actually take that much. As much, you know, as much wood and time and resources as you think it would. But, it does. Something we all just have to live with. And, there you go. Don't burn yourself on these, boy. Because that would be very, very bad. And I don't want to, I actually don't want to give you a name, because I would, I, I really would like a name tag to name you, but I do not have one available. So we're just going to have to make do there, Mutt. So, right here. So help me, if I come back here and you're sleeping on this, I don't care what I have to do, I'm keeping you as a dog. And you know what your name is going to be. It is going to be Snoopy. That doesn't necessarily... Oh my! Yeah, uh-huh. I think your name is going to be Snoopy. You like that? I think you do. I think your name is going to be Snoopy. And we will put that right... Oop. 
We will put that right there. And there's your little doghouse, my friend. It's not much, but I think you'll like it. And just to say, just to give you a little bit more assistance, we will make uh, some wood slabs here. There. There you go. That looks pretty good to me. Now, let's get some carpet here. So you have a place to sleep. And there you go. That play you now you have yourself a nice home, boy. Come in. Come on. Can you come in here? Nope. All right. You're probably still happy about it anyway. So we'll destroy the bed. We will throw away all the things. Actually, we have this other carpet. We're going to go ahead and just lay it in there for him. And what did we have that we don't need? No, the slabs. And we are good. Come up here, boy. Come on, Snoop. All right, my friend. I'm going to sit you down there so you can enjoy your new home. And we will see you down the line, okay? Yep, yep. Don't want to be sad. <laughs> don't, don't look back, wretch. You said you were going to... Don't look back. He has himself a nice home. Plenty of bunnies to eat. Cows to herd. You did the right thing. <laughs> you did the right thing. <laughs> oh, it's all right. We'll get over it. We'll get over it. We, we left Snoop in good hands. So, onward. And I will go ahead and end the episode here, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it and our little... uh our little distraction, but we are still on the hunt to find a good continent with Mesa. So if you liked the video, go ahead and click like down below, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, that'd be a big help, and we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.